During the summer of 2021, I spent 12 weeks doing a software engineering internship at Amazon. I was lucky enough to have a hybrid internship experience, which meant I got the opportunity to travel from California to Seattle. I wanted to make this recap video to share what I did during this internship, share if I got a return offer, and share some of the unique experiences that I faced. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, everybody. Thank you for joining me. My name is Kazim and I post college programming and lifestyle related content on this channel. So I applied to the Amazon Propel internship. This was the very first time that Amazon was doing this Propel internship and this cohort experience. The first four weeks was dedicated to a bootcamp and learning about different stuff that can be applied to Amazon. The next eight weeks was working with your team, your manager, your mentor, having a personal project, all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna talk about everything. So I worked on the Amazon profitability management team and my team was in charge of the system interactions between Amazon and vendors on Amazon. So within that sort of broad APM team, I had an existing sub team of about 20 existing software engineers and it was a really amazing experience to sort of see what it's like to work outside of college and outside of school and just really work within the industry. So I do wanna get into talking about my different weeks at Amazon and sort of breaking it up from the core experience to working on my team. A quick disclaimer is that I obviously was under NDA at Amazon, so I can't show you or talk about anything super specific to my team, but I would just generally say what is it that I worked on and some of the experiences that I faced as an Amazon intern. So let's get into it, y'all. So the first four weeks of my Amazon internship was dedicated to a boot camp. This included learning about different software engineering problems, um, practicing Java, going to different labs, doing different assignments, different stuff like that, and just sort of getting set up with Amazon culture and Amazon technologies. So going back to the very, very first week at Amazon, my very first day even um, on the internship, I put so much pressure on myself, you guys. I cannot even explain to you how much pressure that I put on myself. I came in with the mindset like, okay, I really wanna get a return offer. I really wanna do well during this internship. And I just set such high expectations for myself. And in doing so, I did not really enjoy like the first day, first few days, first week of my internship because I was just putting too much pressure on myself. And I remember the very first day was just sort of setting up like my laptop, setting up different um, Amazon technologies that I'll be using throughout the internship. And I was struggling with that. So I'm like, I haven't even gotten into the juicy stuff. If I'm struggling with this, like, what am I gonna do? And it's really crazy, but throughout like the first week and even throughout later, throughout my internship, I was suffering like from imposter syndrome because I was like, damn, like, is this even, is this even right for me? Like, what am I even doing this summer? Like, I'm telling y'all, my expectations were through the roof that I wasn't even enjoying my internship experiences and just taking it as I go. But, you know, I quickly realized that I'm here for a reason. Everybody was sort of in the same boat that I was with, you know, getting to adjusted and learning new things. Um, I got introduced to my mentor and my manager very early on, and they were extremely, extremely helpful to me and just reassuring me that everybody gets confused. Like, it's not like you're supposed to be on the job knowing everything right off the bat. So I share all of this just to let you guys know that if you do end up in the position like me, do not doubt yourself. Do not feel like you know you don't belong there because I'm telling you right now, you do. I want you guys to know if you do feel that imposter syndrome or you just feel like you don't know what you're doing at a new company or a new internship, wherever you are, it doesn't matter. You will figure it out. You are meant to be there. Otherwise, you wouldn't have made it that far. And you know, just enjoy it, relax, take a deep breath because you got it. Weeks two to three, I started to really enjoy the cohort experience and understanding exactly what I needed to do during this boot camp. And I just overall enjoyed my um, internship way more. Oftentimes for the day, we could have different workshops. One of them being just either learning about software engineering skills like data structures and algorithms, or to even learning about Amazon technologies and how you can apply them when you, you know, are later moved to your team. Um, three, it could just be a workshop learning more about Amazon culture and hearing different experiences from other software engineers who have been at Amazon or have been working there and have moved up on their ranks and different stuff like that. Our labs would consist of, you know, hands-on material actually going through different Amazon systems and seeing how they would work and actually doing a project like a mini project in itself so those were really helpful in the sense that not only were we just like reading and learning about them but we're actually putting it into practice and using these amazon technologies and then we also did have assignments that were you know we would be 
answering questions based off of what we learned in the labs and during workshops and just really putting it into practice and getting graded on these um, assignments. So those are sort of weeks one through four. Being that this was the first time that Amazon has ever done this internship, I feel that it was a lot of trial and error. So a lot of things were just sort of being experimented with. So at times it could be sort of like a overwhelming and a lot of learnings. But overall, I think that it pretty much went smoothly. And then it's just sort of led into the transition where I would join my team and be given an independent project and no longer be doing the boot camp and with the cohort. So at this time, I was already introduced with all the members of my team and I was given an independent project that I would work on for the remaining eight weeks of my internship. So I was given two related projects, one mini project that was related to um, the later bigger project that I'll be taking on. My projects had to do with the deprecation of an existing architecture in my team that is no longer going to be used. So I had to come in and pretty much create a new architecture with different AWS technologies. And these new architectures that I had to create had to be more robust, efficient, better for the team, and I had to do the same thing that the old architectures were doing. So during this time, I spent most of my time creating the design portion of my projects, actually creating a design document that pretty much listed out everything that I'm going to do for the solution of this project and actually doing the research to come up with a solution and presenting it to my mentor and my manager back and forth and sort of just coming up with an actual approach to solving this problem. So this entire week through seven was just pretty much, you know, coming up with an approach, doing tons and tons of research, creating actual design documents for these two projects and presenting them to my team and actually getting it approved for me to move forward and just sort of, you know, really coming up with a solution that can create these two new architectures. So I did have daily stand up. And if you don't know what that is, that's just pretty much where you are discussing what you did for the previous day to your team and you're letting them know, okay, this is what I did yesterday and this is what I'm going to do today and in the future. And I also did have weekly one-on-ones with my manager where I just pretty much discuss, you know, how am I doing with my project? What is the progress that I'm making? Um, what am I going to be doing? And just sort of how am I enjoying the internship experience altogether? And I was also in contact with my mentor daily, whether that was just reaching out to him um, for a question or just emailing him, pinging him, all of that. Um, I always would contact my mentor and he really came in clutch for my internship with just answering my questions in a timely manner and just providing great feedback. And I would say with both my mentor and my manager, it was a very collaborative experience. It was never one-sided where I was just getting information from them. I was also providing information to them about you know where I was in the internship, how I was feeling, um, different um, concerns or just different things that I needed to address. I could let them know and they would also provide feedback. So I really appreciated that and that was a great experience as well. So during this time, I was in Seattle, but I ended up moving back to California just because I wanted to be with family. My mom was actually sick during this time and even before the internship. So I wanted to go back and just be with my family and be with her and just sort of um, see how everything was going. Um, being that the internship was hybrid, it allowed that transition to be very flexible because I could continue doing it in California. During this time, I was smack in the middle of my projects and working on both of them. Um, I had come across a lot of issues, whether it was just beta testing for the project, um, making sure that, you know, things were going smoothly or, you know, I was having trouble with one of the AWS systems that I was using. Um, it was just a very, very busy and also difficult time going on in my life, worrying about um, my mom and, you know, being with my family. And during this time, I did get both of my project solutions and design proposals approved by my team. So it was just really hardcore implementing what I designed and sort of making it a reality and, you know, continuing on with my project. But I have to be honest, during this time, I was feeling really, really unmotivated. I had so much going on in my life as far as just worrying about my mom and, just being with my family. So I was just sort of feeling uneasy on just how things would go. And actually around week 10 of my internship, I actually lost my mom. And that's something that is actually really difficult for me to even address. And it's crazy that I'm addressing it with you guys, but um, that is a big portion of what happened during my internship that, you know, kind of contributed to me not wanting to do anything and me just sort of wanting to give up during my internship but um it was just really sort of rough and i definitely uh i definitely notified my mentor and my manager when it happened 
and they were extremely accommodating they were they told me you know like definitely don't worry about work right now and they gave me a week off to just sort of um you know be with my family and just not have to worry about work we ended up talking more and discussing and they added a week to my internship um so that it would sort of be like I just had that one week gap and they were willing to even give me more time and just sort of see you know basically what I wanted to do but I decided that um, I shouldn't stop this internship I should just continue working on my projects working on what I had to do because I know that's what my mom would have wanted me to do and that's what she wanted me to do even before I came into the internship so after that first week I just sort of um, decided you know I will go back to um, work and finishing this internship and I just continued on with the beta testing that I was doing for my projects I think that was also good for me during that time because even though it was a rough time and I was dealing with a lot I feel like that sort of gave me a distraction to just sort of not be moping around every day and just sort of um, have a chance to focus on something else and something different and I share with this not for you guys to just feel sorry for me or anything like that but obviously because my mom was a huge part of my life and a big part of who I am and for me even getting that internship um, you know I was even hesitant or even taking the offer because my mom was sick my mom was sick with cancer and I just you know, I was very hesitant, but she pushed me and motivated me to continue on with the internship and to continue with, you know, pursuing my goals and ambitions that I have. And she knew that this would be good for my future. So um, with that, I knew that I just had to continue on with the internship and I couldn't just um, I couldn't just stop as unmotivated as I was. I just couldn't stop. I had to go through with it and I did it for her. So these were the final weeks of my internship. I had my project that I was heavily focused on. And I actually did move back to Seattle to get my stuff and also to be in a different environment. So I was there working in some of the Seattle offices and I was actually with my siblings. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my last vlog. But this part of the internship included a lot of verification and a lot of production testing. Just make sure that, you know, all of the different components of my new architecture were actually working correctly and that when I would actually publish it to my team, it wouldn't just, something wouldn't just go wrong. So it just had to do with a lot of beta, gamma, and prod testing and making sure that, you know, things could actually work when I was done with the internship for my team and that I wouldn't just be leaving them with um, architectures that, you know, would eventually fail. So during the last couple of weeks, I actually was able to verify and validate that everything was working smoothly within my new architectures and within the components of my new architectures. So, you know, that made me very happy that you know everything was working towards the end i had to actually come up with a end of the internship presentation that just included me talking about everything that i did during this internship what my project was all the components that consisted of trial and errors and just different stuff like that and then doing the ending presentation i was like wow you know i really did learn a lot and i was just recapping on my experience like i came in not knowing a bunch of different things and um, being able to take out a bunch of that, um, learning different languages and applying what I know and doing different research. So it really truly was an amazing, amazing experience for me and just a unique opportunity. And on the very last day of my internship, I had a meeting with my manager that just sort of discussed, you know, my progress throughout the internship, um, you know, if I was going to get a return offer or not, and um, just sort of how I did and giving critical feedback. Um, as well as receiving it and after getting and providing feedback from my manager i ended up with a full-time offer to come back to amazon as a software developer so i was extremely extremely excited and grateful to receive that and um i still am <laughs> and with the ending of that meeting with my manager that pretty much concluded all of my internship and all 12 weeks of my internship and that was pretty much it hopefully you guys were able to get some insight as to what i did during these 12 weeks at amazon and if you guys have any questions for me go ahead and drop a question down in the comment section as well as give this video a like and of course subscribe to the channel if you're here if you made it this far subscribe to the channel and join me on my journey and yeah thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for listening and i'll see you guys in my next video peace out